Okay, the next thing we need to add to our website is a contacts page. If you can see right here, we've gone ahead and pre-built a contact page as you see here. It's a really nice little form. It says contact form. And what it is, a person fills all this information out and hits submit, and it will send an email to a Gmail account. And this is kind of a similar type of output that you're going to see right here. Well, let's go ahead and delete this one email uh, that you see in my Gmail account, and we'll get rid of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and fill out this information to kind of demonstrate what this form is going to look like. Okay, I've gone ahead and got this blank form. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put John Doe. Okay, John Doe is sending me an email. And I'm going to give me John Doe's email and it's going to be uh, doej at gmail.com. I don't know if there's such thing as a doej at gmail.com, but we're going to use it for demonstration purposes. I'm going to give me a phone, uh, put a phone number in here. I'm going to say 555 hyphen 555 hyphen. Uh, why not 55 and 55? Five, five. We're going to come down here and say, we're going to put in some information. Uh, please send me information about your cool uh, CNC products that you manufacture and sell on your, uh, let's see here, your Etsy store. Okay, this is probably something pretty close to what a lot of people do. So we'll put that in there as well, and we'll leave it at that, period. And we'll say, how do we find out about it? Well, since I found it in the Etsy store, I'm going to set other as my uh, capability. Now, I may want to come back and maybe add Etsy on there as well, if it's something that I use a lot of. Well, this form doesn't look right. We're going to reset it. We want to have that kind of ability to reset our forms. Well, let's go ahead and fill it out again. Uh, contact this time is not uh, John but Jane Doe. So Jane's asking me some questions. I'm going to say uh, Doe, uh, J A N E, at gmail.com, and our phone number is, this case is 444 444 And we'll highlight this information here and say, please send me some information about your Etsy products. Me information about your ETSY products. Okay, and then we'll come down here and select other, and then we'll go ahead and hit send. Now, when we hit send, it'll go off and open up a PHP page. This is the send email PHP script underscore 001.php. It's a script that I write that packages up the information from your form and then sends it out to an email. One word of caution, this will not send it to a Yahoo email account. It will only send to an email account that supports PHP. So you need to look into what uh, email system that you're using that supports it. This is why I also have a Gmail account. Well, I come over here to my inbox and it looks like I've received an email. I'll click on this and I'll go ahead and open this up. Ah, this is nice. It says it got uh, information from my website Richard uh, at richardplatt.net it sent it to me, and it says, you've been contacted by Jane Doe. It gives me her email address. It gives me the information about her phone number and in her message, and it tells me that it was found by other means, not by Yahoo, Bing, or Google. So that's what we want to get. That's the kind of information we want coming off our website in a format that's easy for us to read and possibly capture and put into a database. So well, let's go into uh, Dreamweaver, and let's get started. I went ahead and opened up a blank. Uh, Dreamweaver file from a template and as you can see there's really nothing in here. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my code view and I've gone down to the actual body uh, dev tag and that's where we're going to start right there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop here and come back to this in a moment. Before we actually go ahead and build a form in our home contact page, I've got a version of that set up here as home contact uh, underscore zero zero four dot html. Before we actually go and start do that, uh, let's always make sure we save our files. We've got that saved. And the way the process works is you would come up to the insert command, hit insert form, come across here and hit form. It's going to ask you to browse for that script file. So you'd have to come over and click on this and then come out here and set your script file up here in one of these PHP files. Well, let's go ahead and build that script file before we do any of this because you've got to have that in place first before you can really start writing your form. So what I'm going to do now is I've gone ahead and opened up a script file as you see right here, the one I'm actually going to use. 
And what I'm going to do is instead of me trying to uh, use my fat fingers and try to type all this stuff in, I'm going to leave this up down to line 23 and you go ahead and write everything as you see exactly like here and build that in. Now when you're using PHP uh, it'll go ahead and start coding in your text uh, to the right colors. Uh, you'll see the blues out here, variables and stuff. So let's go ahead and stop here for now. Actually before we stop, let's go build that first file. Let's create a new file. Let's come down here to blank. Let's select PHP, uh, none, and then we'll hit create. Now it's going to come in and put us some default uh, code in here. We'll go ahead and delete that and we'll step down here and we're going to go ahead and start copying out this information. I'm going to select this first line here, do a control C, come back over here in this page and do a control V. Hit a couple enters and it says, oh, no syntax errors. That's good. We'll come down here to line five and we'll go back to the next line and it's the first variable that's getting set. And this is kind of important so we'll go ahead and uh, uh, highlight all that and do a control C to copy. Come back over here and do a control V. Now this is the email account you want to send your messages from your website. This is the one you're probably going to use to read your website. And I know most of us probably have multiple emails account but the one thing that's important is we need to use an email that supports PHP. In this case, Gmail supports PHP. Yahoo does not, unless you have to contact Yahoo and do a lot of work to get them to convert uh, your email account to where it does support PHP. I didn't do that. I already had a Gmail account, so I just carried forward. So here's where you would put in your Gmail account. I don't know if Hotmail works or any of the other mail systems like AOL works. But I do know that Gmail uh, does work. I would go ahead and create yourself a Gmail account. Because you're going to need that anyway for your YouTube videos that you're going to post for this website. So let's go ahead and hit a couple more enters. I like to leave myself a lot of room. But again, anything you see in blue here is setting up a variable. Now let's go get the next variable. This next variable is the subject uh, equal message from website. Okay, we'll copy that, highlight it, copy it. Come back over here and we'll do a control V. Now, this I may want to change. I'm going to say message from contact form. Okay, just go ahead and write that in. Contact form. Okay, left myself a little space out here to the uh, side of the letter M over towards the first uh, single quote. Go ahead and hit another couple of spaces so I can give myself better legibility of this uh, particular piece of code I'm writing. We'll come back over here and we're going to grab this first big line of text. Of uh, code right here. It's, uh, we're setting a text variable and in this variable you notice there's some B statements out here that stands for bold so you can see your information highlighted in bold and then it says uh, dollar sign post you're putting the name variable in that you're capturing from your uh, website as well so we're going to highlight all this all the way to the semicolon do a control C and come over here and do a control V. v. Now what you want to do, since you're not having to type all this, since you're going to have to type all this in, is make sure you're following along and you're very accurate in your text and your uh, your information you're putting in, because you're most likely will have problems in this script in this line right here. It's no problem; though. you can still come back and fix it. Now, what you need to understand is, see where it says here in bold, it says you have been contacted by. Let's go back to that Gmail email for a second. It says here it is you have been contacted by, in this case, the uh, email we got from Jane Doe. So that's what they mean by the bold tag. So everything looks darker as opposed to what you see here in Jane Doe. Okay, so let's go back to Dreamweaver. Now these variables are going to be the names, like here you see name, email, uh, phone right here, uh, comments, uh, you're going to see where, that is all going to be variables that we set up and IDs that we set up in our form. So don't be too concerned about that right now. We'll get back to that in a little bit. So the next thing we're going to do is go back to our script and we're going to come down here and get this what's called header information. Email needs to have this MIME version, content type, and needs to have information about where you know, information is coming from. So we need that information right there. So we're going to go ahead and copy that highlight and copy that. Since you uh, hadn't had a chance to look at it too close, go ahead and look at that. If you need to pause the video, pause the video and then write what you see here exactly as you see. Again, I'm going to go ahead and copy that real quick. Control highlight, 
control C copy and back over here to this page and go ahead and do a control V now I probably need to go ahead and give this thing a file name because we've got 15 lines of code here so we're going to go ahead and go file save as and we're going to give it a name we're going to call it contact form not from but form uh, information underscore zero zero one and it's important that we give it a PHP uh, file type go ahead and make sure we're in the right folder and save so there we have it we've got that information here well now that we set all these variables the stuff you see here in blue we need to come back and do something with it well, let's go back and look at the original script what we're going to do is going to mail that information but here you can see it says mail and in brackets you can see two uh, concatenated or added to with subject concatenated to which is going to be text well text is all this information that we stored up here from our form okay and the headers is what PHP needs to process this into an email and send it out so we're going to go ahead and copy this right here highlight control C come over here to contact and then we'll hit it line 17 we'll do a control V now your lines can be laid out however which way you want you don't have to get too exact and specific on that but we put that in there now let's go ahead and do a control S to save our file got it could save hit it enter come back over here to our script and notice right here it's got this information here it's kind of gold it says slash star results rendered as HTML that's a comment line that goes into uh, PHP so we'll highlight that as well so you'll know later down the road what your code was that you wrote so we'll copy that and we'll come over here to a contact script and we'll paste that in okay got that in there and we'll scroll up a little bit give ourselves some room okay go back over here scroll down now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to create another variable called the results that's the information that got put to the page once we hit the submit button it said hey your information we got it we're sending it whatever we're going to go ahead and get this guy right here and we're going to make sure we do this very carefully so the results equal uh, uh, greater than greater than greater than EOD end of document so we'll go ahead and copy that go back over to our script and we're going to paste that in okay now what's important is not to put a space here like that you don't want that you want to go ahead and hit enter and then hit uh, backspace one more to get back over to the to the blue column right here with the numbers on it and we'll come back over here it says oh we got a syntax here don't worry about that we'll fix that later we're just going to come down here and highlight this web page information uh, it's, I'll go to, all the way to the title it says HTML head and it says title thank you for contacting me Okay, control C to copy that. We'll come back over here to this and we'll paste that in. Okay, again, control S to save. Let's kind of scroll down a little bit so you can see that we hit a couple more enters. And we'll go back over here to the script. We'll highlight this meta information. We'll highlight this inline style sheet information all the way down to the head slash head statement. We'll copy that. Over here and we'll paste that in so make sure that your end of document point right here is looking exactly like what you see here with the inline style sheet information in now let's put a couple more enters in go back to the script scroll down and we're just going to grab all down to the first dev tag it says thank you for contacting me and then i put a couple breaks in here let's go ahead and copy that right there We'll come back to our script here and we'll do a control V and paste that in. Now, <clears throat> as you're building your website, uh, as you can probably tell, I've gone ahead and I've put in this title right here, uh, this uh, uh, hyper reference link right here. And I've gone ahead in my testing and I built this web page and it's actually on my website right now under Dreamweaver. In the training section of my website you've got this link right here it says link to home underscore contacts underscore HTML uh, document well that's going to actually be your your home contact page and you may have to change your file name here later 
uh, if you have any trouble with that always remember you're probably on a flat website uh, meaning you don't have multiple folders it'll be just like your your URL uh, universal resource link uh, the HTTP colon slash slash richardplatt.net or whatever your website is slash without having this in there home uh, underscore contact well we're going to go ahead and just select all the rest of this down to where it says end of document do a copy of that and we'll come back over here to this and we're going to paste that in now remember the web page I'm working with for my contact form is this one right here it says home underscore contact 004 let's go back to that script real quick well, mine says 00 it didn't say anything it just says home underscore contact well, I'm going to go ahead and so for my testing and, and training here I'm doing underscore 004 because I want it to go back to the page the form page that I create okay so I've got that in there now I came all the way down here to where it says uh, I closed out this little web page I'm building on the fly and I key in uh, EOD semicolon okay well I put all that in there but I want it to display I want it to show me that uh, it did get my information so I'll go back to that script and I'll get that one line of code it says echo which means show me back the results variable which is the information that I captured show that back to me I'll do a control C a copy come back over here to this and do a control V to paste and then what I'm going to do is scroll down here one last time hit enter and then let's go get that one little last piece of code which is just the question mark uh, greater than sign and that closes out the PHP document so I control C to copy and control V to paste that in so let's go ahead and save this file here and just go back through, look at your code. If you made a mistake, you're going to find it. <laughs> It'll tell you. It'll give you a little yellow line up here where it says right now it looks like we're pretty clean. It says no syntax errors. Go back and copy this and make sure you got it all in there. And you're probably going to have to stop the video as you're doing this to make sure you get all your code in. You can change these variables right here to wherever you want your form to be. These are just the ones we're building for in this tutorial. Mm -hmm.